What's up guys? How's it going? I hope you're having an awesome day, week, month, year, life, you know what I mean. I'm doing pretty good, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. Because I love being stalked, it's interesting. So yeah, today we're doing a fun video. We are reacting to things that only men will ever understand. Us girls are just at a loss, I guess. So let's go over these pictures and we'll try to figure it out together, girls. You know, we gotta have each other's backs. And don't forget to comment below if you have a sibling and if they get on your nerves every single day. But yeah, I think we're ready, so let's do this. Eight urinals, four men can pee simultaneously. Oh, I get this. I'm. I know the rule, so you're not supposed to stand directly next to each other at a urinal, cause it's just weird. <laughs> Especially if there's eight. Like, you go in, start doing your business, and out of all these eight options, the dude just come and stands right next to you? Tell me that's not weird. I even hate that about girls' restrooms. If I'm in a stall and there's three other stalls, don't come in the one right next to me. It's weird, we don't need to be smelling each other's farts. <laughs> I never understood though why there's always one urinal that's lower than the others. Is that just if you're shorter? <laughs> Can you not aim? <laughs> I don't understand male bathrooms. Like why are there no stalls? Why are you just peeing in front of each other out in the public? Let's go shopping, she said. It won't take long. <laughs> Look at all these guys waiting for their women outside the store. Just go in. What's the shame? Maybe you'll like something. You gotta be open to the possibilities, guys. I made my boyfriend come into Victoria's Secret with me last week and he was so uncomfortable. He was really scared that he was gonna look like a pervert. I kept telling him, you're fine. Y'all could go do something else. You don't have to wait on her. Go to your Foot Locker. Only guys will understand. Checkmate. Oh no. The dude just has to sit there and wait. Look at the bottom one. Look at the bottom picture and Look where that second guy went. Now he can't go to either of them because no matter what, he's gonna be standing next to somebody. That is such a mean move. Yeah, you just gotta wait outside for that one. This dude is having such a social anxiety attack right now. He's like, what do I do? I guess I'll just wait till we get home. Oh, you're leaning over? Let me help by pulling your stomach hair when you stand up. Ooh, ouch, that's gotta hurt. Guys, comment below if this actually happens. How painful is that? Ooh, that does not sound pleasant. This sounds very similar to when I had long hair and in school when I would sit down and then try to stand up, my hair would get caught in the screws in the chair. And I have no idea how. So I'm guessing that's pretty much the same. History, it's, it's clear. I don't get it. Wait, oh my gosh, ew. <laughs> I mean, good for you, clear in your history. Whatever crimes you're committing, I'm gonna say crimes, <laughs> no one will know. If you understand this, you need to go to church. Sitting on your wallet all day and getting a sore butt cheek. <laughs> Does that really happen? Well, you know what, guys? Get a purse. There's a reason women do it because it's smart. Cause you don't want this big old wallet stretching out your pocket all day and then giving you a sore butt cheek. Just get a purse, <laughs> it's very convenient. I tried doing that where I just had like a man wallet in my pocket because I kept losing my purse. And it was so uncomfortable. I couldn't sit down anywhere. Only men will understand. What's he doing? Why do you take a step out? I don't get it. Comment below if you get it. Hmm. Am I too innocent for this? <laughs> no. Getting the single urinal. I understand this. It's like, yes. <laughs> because there's all these urinals side by side all the time. So when they get that lone, that single restroom, it's like, yes, privacy. <laughs> That's why I love single stall bathrooms where you can just lock the door. It's a nice feeling. You can do whatever you want and no one's gonna judge you, except for the person coming in right after you. <laughs> They're gonna know what you did. They know what you did last summer. The Men's Guide to Showering. Deep scrub is the dark red. Ew, but understandable. That's good hygiene. And water will get it. What? You don't scrub your chest and your legs? Ew! You need to scrub soap all over your body. That's good hygiene. <laughs> this is a PSA to all of you boys in middle school, right when you're hitting puberty and you think Axe body spray covers up everything. It doesn't. It just smells like bad cologne and bad hygiene. <laughs> so just use soap, you know, scrub everything really good a couple times 
And then just a little cologne goes a long way. I promise you will still impress the ladies. Honestly, they're already impressed if you don't smell bad. <laughs> so yeah, just a little spritz of cologne. You're good. Properties of dating women. You have three options, sane, single, or attractive. Choose two. <laughs> Dang, that's a hard one. Well, you know what? Why can't I be all three? Because I'm not sane. Yeah, I'm a little crazy. Uh, I don't know how my guy deals with me. <laughs> so I'll just say I'm attractive and single. Comment below, which two would you guys pick? <laughs> if I was a guy, I would say sane and single because attractiveness is on the inside and the outside, okay? <laughs> Crying during movies about fathers and sons. Oh. Okay guys, don't feel bad. We all cried during this scene. It's so sad Simba saw his dad die. <laughs> I still cry every single time. Look at him. He's holding him. I have such a big lion's mane. <laughs> it's like a blanket. Lions are like my favorite animal. They're so cute and ferocious. <laughs> and literally the only thing they do all day is eat and then nap for hours. <laughs> It's amazing. Walking behind a woman on the street and worrying that she thinks you're following her. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry guys, but I think that all the time. If a guy is going in my same direction for more than 30 seconds, I automatically start thinking of a whole plan if he tries to kidnap me or attack me. I am ready for you. And all you're doing is going to Starbucks, but I'm sorry. <laughs> this ghost is really stalking this chick right now. That's so creepy. He's kind of cute though. Keep clothes in three piles. Clean, dirty, clean enough. Ew! I'll be honest guys, I've done the same thing a couple times. <laughs> Just because there are certain clothes, they're so delicate, if you wash them too much, it ruins them. So there's some things like jeans, I'll wear them like two or three times before I actually wash them. Just saying. But you can do that to a certain extent, okay? If they get really nasty, wash them. But if you just wear them for a couple hours, then eh, it's fine. When she jokes about you versus when you joke about her. Hmm? What'd you just say? <laughs> she looks mad. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I do this all the time. <laughs> I'll be talking so much trash to my boyfriend and soon as he says something back to me and it's not even that mean, I get so hurt. I'm just like, Why'd you have to go there? How could you? And he's like, girl, you were just talking so much smack to me. Don't dish it if you can't take it. But for real, don't talk trash back to your girlfriend. Let her say what she wants or she'll get mad. Control shift in, if you know what I mean. What does that do? Let's try it. Control shift in. Why isn't it working? Oh, I think I have to go on the internet for this one. All right, control shift in. What? Why does that automatically open an incognito tab? This is the tab where it, um, I don't think it saves your history. So you can basically do whatever you want and it just erases it. Why would you need this tab, huh? Why is it automatic? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing on there, but just keep it private. Keep it in your own home. <laughs> and that is it for today for reacting to things that only guys understand. I mean, I understand some of them. There was like one or two, I'm just like, what? <laughs> but I guess that is for the men's minds only. So ladies, comment down below if you understood any of them and please teach me. But yeah, I hope you had a lot of fun today. Don't forget to subscribe, be a part of our awesome socially awkward family and follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. Along with my Twitter and Cameo where you can get personalized shout outs from me. But yeah, that was fun and interesting to learn. So I will see you beautiful people next time.